So I've built a mammoleum and ply walking wardrobe system. Now it's not the most exciting thing in the world watching carcasses being put together, but in this video I'll try and give you an in-depth view of how you can build the carcasses using mammoleum and laminating, how you cut the sheets and insert the grooves. And I've also built a sliding mirror using some sweet chestnut and some resin for the knots. I'll do this video in two parts. I have one wardrobe system finished now and I'm starting the next one this week. So I'm cutting out um, 20 mil, 18 mil ply. It's really good. And now just a bit of glue. It's cut so fine on that you can actually see the glue, the rubbery glue. That's what that stuff is there. I'll just clean that out with the chisel. That's actually the glue that I laminated the marmoleum with.
so I'll just take you through um, the laminating. So I'm using a, this is what I'm using, uh, 414. It's not um, instant grab, so it's more of a rubber uh, compound and like an instant grab adhesive. Instant grab adhesive can be good, but it can be really difficult to get the parts lined up. So basically I'm using a three mil blade or scraper. I'm gonna get a very thin coat on here. Not too much on the edges, but all the edges do need, obviously, the glue on. A very thin coat like that. And then I use a scraper to remove the excess. This is why I don't use the innocent grab. You've got so much more time with this. You can give it. A, you can even lift it if you need to. If something goes wrong. That's pretty good. Get any stuff off with any glue off with white spirit. A little bit of white spirit, and then just pressurize it with a roller. This is just a roller you'd use for laying vinyl on the floor. Give that overnight. We've checked the pressure shortly. I'm gonna wait until it gets up to pressure, then I'll turn it off and see how much of a vacuum I maintain because you do need to keep the pump under pressure. I have had a problem before where there was a bit of a leak and you leave the pump on and you lose a bit of oil in your pump. Anyway, I'll check that in 40 minutes, see how it's getting on. So all of the units are gonna have these little extra supports at the back. Now normally you would fill in the back of the carcass to help with rigidity, but the room this is going in has actually got uh, some nice beams you wanna keep feature and it's a matching wall. So these are gonna have kind of two purposes. They're gonna give it a little bit more of support uh, until they're all connected. And it's also going to be a place to hide the lights, which we're going to put in. These will definitely help with any racking. And we're going to put a, I'm going to put a small LED strip on the back here, so it will hide the direct light and just get the, the shadow through the unit, hopefully. 
Okay, so the connections, little domino here, just to stop it spreading, tiny bit of glue in every shelf joint now. So part of the fitting issue is in these old houses, the way the floor leans down so much. So over here, you can see we go from one there, right the way across to two with a bit of an extension and a double. I'm pretty much happy with that for a building like this. Take the clamps off later today. I think they're holding those little mini dominoes really handy. Hadn't used those little tiny dominoes like a biscuit really. So I've got these lights, you can get six. I'll put a link in the description. I bought these on Amazon and they're on eBay. And they're really cool. They just clip together so you can push them in here or you can connect to cables and separate them. And they come with this distribution so you can have six individuals or push them together and have a big row. And there's a remote you can buy for an extra five pounds and that will give you dimmable flashing lights if you need that. This is gonna have a sensor so when you walk in the room, the lights will come on in the cupboards. And I'm just gonna simply fit them to the hidden reveal at the back with some 3M tape that come with in case they need servicing.